All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 4 minus 625 is equal to 0. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite x to the power of 4 as x squared to the power of 2. And then we write 625 as 25 squared. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x squared and b is 25. So I have x squared plus 25 times x squared minus 25 is equal to 0. So now this is actually going to give me two equations. I have x squared plus 25 is equal to 0 and I have x squared minus 25 is equal to zero. So let's first start by solving x squared minus 25 equals zero. So to solve this, I'm going to add 25 on both sides. So now I have x squared is equal to 25. And now to solve this, I simply have to take the square root on both sides. So I have the square root of x squared is equal to the square root of 25. The square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 25 is positive or negative 5. Now, for x squared plus 25 is equal to 0, to solve this, I'm going to subtract 25 on both sides. These two cancel out. So now I have x squared is equal to negative 25. And now, like we did for this equation, I'm going to take the square root on both sides. The square root of x squared is x. And the square root of negative 25, well, I can rewrite this as the square root of 25 times the square root of negative 1. So as we all know, the square root of 25 is positive and negative 5. And the square root of negative 1, if you guys don't know what that is, the square root of negative 1, this is equal to the, variable, to the imaginary number i. So now I have x is equal to positive negative 5i. So my four solutions are positive 5, negative 5, positive 5i, and negative 5i. All right, so in this problem, I have x minus 4 to the power of 4 is equal to x to the power of 4. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by subtracting x to the power of 4 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and now I have x minus 4 to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 4 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to rewrite this as x minus 4 to the power of 2 times 2 minus x squared times 2 is equal to 0. So if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x minus 4 to the power of 2 times 2, that's going to equal x minus 4 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 2 times 2. That's going to be x squared to the power of 2. Now this is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So x minus 4 squared to the power of 2 minus x squared to the power of 2, that's going to equal x minus 4 squared plus x squared times x minus 4 squared minus x squared. And this is equal to 0. And now if I expand this, I get negative 8x plus 16 times 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. So this gives me two equations. 
I have negative 8x plus 16 is equal to 0, and I have 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. So for negative 8x plus 16 equals 0, I get 16 is equal to 8x, meaning x equals 2. So this is one solution. And for 2x squared minus 8x plus 16, if I factor out 2, I get x squared minus 4x plus 8 is equal to 0. And now to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b. So negative of negative 4, which is positive 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared. So negative 4 squared, which is 16, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 8, all over 2a, so 2. And this is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 32 is negative 16 over 2, which is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 16i over 2, which is equal to 4 plus or minus 4i over 2, which is equal to 2 plus or minus 2i. So these are my three solutions. All right, so in this problem, I have x over 2 to the power of x is equal to 16. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by rewriting 16 here as 2 to the power of 4. So now I have x over 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Now I'm going to take the power of 1 half on both sides. So now I have x over 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 half is equal to 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 1 half. Now, x over 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 half, well, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So x over 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 half, I can multiply x and 1 half. So now I get x over 2 to the power of x over 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 1 half. That's 2 to the power of 4 times 1 half. 4 times 1 half is simply 2. So now I have x over 2 to the power of x over 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 2. Now I'm going to let the variable y equal x over 2. So now if I substitute in y for x over 2, I have y to the power of y is equal to 2 to the power of 2. And if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, y is equal to 2. Now, remember we set y equal to x over 2. So if y equals 2 and y is also equal to x over 2, this means that 2 is equal to x over 2. So now, if I multiply both sides by 2, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 4. So this is my answer.